this December. Two songs. One journey And does he return? Introducing The Christmas Specials Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another sales update So, I hope you enjoyed that trailer that was just on a second ago Don't forget, tell all your friends about it, tell all your friends what's coming um, Obviously, if you're in communication with other resellers on the Facebook groups um, On Instagram, whatever it may be Spread the word out there, I've put a lot of time and effort into the videos that are going to be coming in December So I want as many people to be aware of them as possible um, So yeah, if you can do that for me, that would be brilliant If not, don't worry um, but yeah, it'd be brilliant if you can. So anyway, with that being said, I will get on with the sales update and I will let you know what's been selling recently. And there's also going to be a couple of hat sales in, in here from the hat haul. So yes, I've already sold some of them, which is pretty cool. Anyway, with that being said, we shall get on with it. So here we've got this vintage pair of African carved wooden, uh, you know, figures, ornaments, whatever. Should have actually put figures in the title there. I didn't. But anyway... Um, basically, you'll probably be aware, or a lot of you will be aware, I got tons of figures, um, basically from the auction ages ago, like, I don't know, seven, eight months ago, maybe even longer, I don't even know, it was, it was a long time ago anyway. And uh, they're just still ticking along for me. I've actually made profit on this job lot now. I was in profit quite a while ago. And I've still got some left to sell. So yeah, really, really happy with this sale. Just a little sale, but still, it's it's just money in the bank for me. So yeah, I was really happy with that one. Next, obviously, you saw I picked up these TDK from the charity shop for £3 in my little vlog that I did not long ago. And yeah, they sold pretty quickly on eBay for 30 quid. I didn't send these into Amazon because I, I don't think... I think I could find the listing for a six pack of these or if I did I didn't like the look of the rank it was something like that anyway but I end up deciding actually just to put these on eBay and to be honest I might you know even if I could send them to Amazon obviously I might have only got a five or extra anyway and after fees it'll work out pretty much exactly the same so yeah I'm more than happy with that on eBay three pound into 30 quid and they went within two or three days as well so yeah really happy on that one um so next are these uh, Royal Worcester ceramic egg coddlers never even really heard of these I don't think they were actually like um I don't think they were actually like egg cups so I don't think we were actually uh, egg cups, but I'm really not sure. But anyway, um, they are ceramic egg, egg coddlers, boxed, blackberry fruit design. Uh, quite nice little things here. And you can see I got 16 99 plus postage on them. So yeah, I was really happy with that little sale there. Um, I was, obviously with these, I just paid like maybe £1 each in a job lot. Not a lot at all, really. So I was more than happy with that sale. As you can see, they've got some information on the backs there as well, which is pretty cool. So that's those. Uh, next was something that hung around for a while, but I did kind of price these high uh, originally. I had these up for like 80 quid or something in the beginning and then I slowly dropped my price now these weren't like um, obviously really really old jerry cans but we were still nice um, they're still quite sought after so I had them up quite high and then just worked my way down I'm actually in profit on this job lot now so all this after postage and fees is obviously profit is money in my pocket so more than happy with that sale um, but yeah pretty cool item as you can see here they're the old like uh, you know army jerry cans petrol fuel cans whatever you want to call them um, yeah pretty cool uh, little sale there now I did clean these up um, but obviously you can see there's still some marks and scuffs on them that I couldn't get out they were really really dirty though before I photographed and they were incredibly incredibly dirty but you don't want to actually like um or i feel you don't want to um necessarily like really strip them back too much because i think people do like a little bit of wear on them and stuff so um yeah you can see there's still some uh, considerable wear there um but these were just generally just really really dirty before i uh as i say before i photographed them but still nice little sale there 50 quid plus my postage um next we've got this vintage hand turned carved 
small wooden plate. This was a very small wooden plate. I think it was like a side plate sort of size. Um, and yeah, I got 11.49. I think I accepted an offer on this. 11.49 plus postage. Um, I think this came to me in an auction job lot, if I remember rightly. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it did. So it wouldn't have cost me much at all. Um, now, for another bowl, uh, it was much bigger than this, but it was another sort of hand-carved bowl. I actually got 20 quid for. So if I find a bigger one again, I'm definitely going to be shooting for more of that £20. Um, but as I say, this is just a smaller one. Got it out, nice and easy. Uh, obviously, some money in the bank, a little bit of profit. So yeah, more than happy with that one. Um, next is this uh, vintage Pico Ware, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, English metal teapot, uh, sugar um, sugar pot and milk jug etc. Uh, really nice this was, I was happy to find this because I don't think I've had any of this before but I knew that it was worth some money. Um, obviously if you get, I think um, there might be a larger set of this or I think you might be able to get like a tray for underneath it as well and I believe that goes for a little bit more money. Um, but yeah I was more than happy with 25 plus postage and that went pretty quick. Um, you can see there it's got a wooden handle on the teapot there. It's quite, um, I suppose it's quite minimalist in a way. Um, you know, there's not much to it really, but it's still a really nice design. I still quite like it. Um, so yeah, that was that one. Quite a nice sale there, 24 99 plus postage. I got this in a larger job lot again. Now this would have probably cost me about 6 or 7 quid in the job lot because obviously um, this was one of the main features of the job lot. So if I broke it down as an individual cost, it would be a bit more than my standard stuff. Um, but yeah, still happy with that. Nice little sale there. Um, next, this I actually found in my well one of my piles of shame and I just had it in there for ages and I completely forgot about it and it was a uh, Max and Paddy's Road to Nowhere um, and I just decided to whack it on auction I paid 50p at a car boot sale um, and yeah I just whacked it on auction the other week 4 99 starting bid plus postage and it just got a couple of bids went up to six quid more than happy with that nice little uh, stick in a large letter job you know in a jiffy bag um so yeah more than happy with that little sale only a, f a few quid profit but yeah still it's better than it being in my pile of shame obviously and then we're getting on to a couple of the hats so um this vintage gray uh, top hat the wilson and stafford one that you saw um actually went for 29.99 plus postage now i could have priced in line with a couple of others that were on there but the other two that were on there were brand new or were specified in brand new condition mine was obviously used and they were coming in at 40 pound so i decided to go in at 30 maybe i could have gone at 35 uh, maybe got an extra five out of this but i was more than happy with you know 30 quid uh, quick sale only took maybe two or three days to go um and yeah really happy with that 29.99 plus my postage yeah can't complain with that one nice little sale you can see Obviously inside it, it's the one that I showed on the hat haul the other day, just in case you didn't see it or uh, you were thinking it might be a different one. It is the same one, uh, 58 centimetres there. So yeah, pretty cool. Next was the Christie's hat. Um, but I was a little bit disappointed that I couldn't get more for this, but and maybe I could have put it on for an extra 5 or £10, pound, but it would have sat for a while, I think. Um, so I think pricing it at 20 quid. In, in line with the market kind of thing is a much better way to go than letting it sit there for weeks upon weeks just you know pricing it a bit bit higher um so yeah more than happy with this one 20 quid plus postage this was a vintage uh, this was like the dark green one and, and even on this photo you can't really see that it's completely sort of dark green it's still like in person it looks a lot uh, it looks a little bit greener than that um, and obviously on camera it didn't pick it up brilliantly either. Um, but there, Christie's of London, you can see that one there. And this one is 57 centimetres. So yeah, I'm more than happy with that. So between those two sales, I've pretty much covered my money back. And then the other four, I think it was four or five hats uh, that are left. Um, then obviously they're going to be my profit. I think I ended up sticking that... Um, brown was it the brown bowler hat uh the christie's one i think i ended up going a little bit higher than i anticipated on that one i think i put it on for 50 or 60 i know i said i might be putting it on for 40 but i decided to go a little bit higher on that one so we'll see with that one i might need to bring my price down a little bit and then catch a sale but anyway it'll be good just to see if uh, that would go for 50 or 60 quid um so yeah that's that one anyway and then finally we've got this this was quite funny actually because I just got this in an auction job, like it wasn't branded or anything, there was no maker's mark or anything on there. And I thought, I wonder what I could actually get for this, because it is a very, very standard piece. Uh, you see a lot of these, you know, these standard figures 
on, you know, charity shop bric-a-brac shelves and stuff, stick it up for a couple of quid, two or three quid, um, and it, you know, it isn't brilliant, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to stick it on and just see, uh, so I stuck it on for £10 plus postage, and there you go, it goes, the amount of times I have stuck something on that I feel might not even be worth sticking on, but I thought, oh, I'll just stick it on anyway, and I've stuck it on for that, you know, bread and butter range that I always go for, £10 plus postage, my absolute minimum, and, um, yeah, it just, it just goes, you know, it's, it's weird how that happens, but if you don't think something, someone would want something, or you're a bit unsure on whether it's going to go or not, um, maybe just try it, because honestly, that's what I do so many times, and it just pays off, off for me, um, you know, it's much better than, um, just maybe chucking this or put, putting it in the donation for a charity shop or whatever. Um, I just thought, yeah, I'll chance my arm and see if I can get any money for it, even though it is pretty standard. So, yeah, this was a vintage small brown ceramic dog, just one of those uh, ceramic dog, dog figures. Um, yeah, so that's that anyway. So I'll leave it there, guys. As I say, don't forget um, for, um, obviously, all the different Christmas specials coming in December. Make sure you tell your friends. Make sure you tell everyone who you feel would like to know. That's the 5th of December, the 10th of December, and the 15th of December. There's going to be three set separate um, videos that are going to be coming out on those dates. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy them as well. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. So don't forget, like, comment, share, all the rest of it, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you very soon, guys.